U.S. Air Force Junior ROTC cadets at Bay High School in Panama City cradle an American flag flown in combat over Iraq and donated by Bay High 1996 graduate Todd Sexton. His mother, Denise Sexton, was there to talk about the flag. Hey, my son is active duty sergeant with the Army 6th Cavalry stationed in Iraq. He's in charge of the logistics of loading the ammunition on the helicopters and those kind of things and helps schedule the missions. Todd's been in the last five years, he's been in Kuwait. He's been in Korea, and he's been in Iraq for the second time. In the last five years, he's been in the States probably a total of maybe 14 months. Colors, Hulk, Red, Big, Ace. The flag was flown over a combat mission in Iraq. I believe the date on it was during the month of October. Nation's flag, all out. And they like to send these flags back to the States to help your regular citizens remember the deployed soldiers that are there and the active duty jobs that they're doing every day. But he wanted to send it back here. He wanted to come and bring it, but he won't be back until December. And as a result, he sent it to me. Praise and folks. And it arrived and I brought it to the school and he had specific requests that the flag fly, not that be just in a case at the school. Order folks. Not ever mentioned or not ever flown so that the students remember those soldiers that are serving active duty. He was a very active student here. He played baseball. He was an honor student. And he went to college for three years and then joined the Army. He's finished his college while he was in the Army and he will soon be uh, an officer in the Army. And they'll be returning in December from a 15-month deployment. He was interested in it being a uh, something that the kids at the school know about. Because, you know, you just don't, people don't think about it. There's thousands of them over there serving, and they're, they're sort of been, they're in the background now that all the political stuff's going on. It's just not even thought about anymore. And there's still men dying over there every day, and, you know, it's not even front page news anymore that they're serving. So, it's, you know, it's kind of a sad situation when that's on the back burner. And there's guys over there losing their lives every day. Colors, hope.